my channel my name is Kingere. in today's video i'm going to be doing a tour of my workspace if it doesn't look like it already i work in my bedroom i've been able to just transform a small area of my bedroom to a workspace and i've always done this it didn't matter where it was it didn't matter how small my room was i've always just found a way to create this small corner you know to work to meditate to pray to read this work table is maybe the best piece of furniture that i invested in in 2022 absolutely love it i love the fact that i went for it even though it was pricier than what i would normally want to pay but i just got to that point where i was like you know what i do a lot of things on this table i eat on this table i read on this table i work on this table i organize i plan my life on this table so if it means that i pay for this and i get exactly what i'm paying for and i get value for money then that's fine so i decided to go with it when we're done with this video please check the description box i'm going to put the handle of where i got all the things i will show you guys i'll try and link the ones that are linkable in the description box below initially i used to work on this wall that i am back in it was quite small for what i wanted when i wanted to make a new table i was working with the measurements i had and so i started considering working by the window which is this window that you're seeing here it wasn't something that i was very open to first of all because i knew i was going to have to put my laptop directly in front of the window and i didn't want to have any case of rain and i didn't want like direct sunlight on my stuff and it, it just took a lot of thinking to get me to this point i really enjoy sitting in front of the window i love when the sun is just filtering through my curtain i really like it. i like to be able to look outside and like see trees so i just knew that it was something that i really wanted to do so when i wanted to get this table done i had to um, get the measurements from the vendor i measured the wall space that i had and i realized that it fit into the space so it was a go ahead for me um, i did change a couple of things the table that they were offering before came with um jawa knobs initially i wanted drawers with jawa knobs and i wanted to buy knobs that i preferred because that's what i always do i always buy my own hardware if the vendor doesn't offer something that i like so it has five drawers um, on each side so it has 10 drawers in all i've only filled one side of it so i have five empty drawers and five are full well not full but five you know have things in them and i just love it like that and it just makes me happy to know that i have extra space another reason why i really love this table is because i can work i can have my deliveries on one side of my table and then i can eat on another side and i can just put random stuff on the table and it will just take everything um, the first thing that you would see is my bin absolutely love this bin i do wish that it came in a different color so this is what the bin looks like it's a very small bin i got from mega plaza in victoria island if i don't find neutral i go for peso color so that's why i actually got this one so this is so helpful for when i have sticky notes or i have papers i just want to throw away or i'll eat biscuit or gum or candy and i don't need to get up and throw it in my room bin i just throw it inside here the next thing i have here is this box of tissue it's a nice um acrylic box with a wooden cover really nice fits into my theme um i got this from an instagram page and i also have this phone stand that i got from wish.com i like that i can charge my phone vertically and i can charge it when it's standing and i can use it to watch videos as well so it's really really helpful i'm going to try and link it if i find the link i think it was about three dollars or so i also got this um lamical stand which is really good because of how high this makes um my laptop i had to get a wireless keyboard and i got the logitech pebble keyboard i think that's what they call it i really like this stuff i just push it all the way back on the table and then i put my laptop up here so when i sit i have very good eye contact with my screen i don't have to look down and i don't have to look too high up it's just perfect so that's the reason why i got this logitech keyboard because i cannot type comfortably with my um, laptop keyboard so i have to use this external keyboard i also have the apple mouse which i absolutely love as well it's a like a touch screen mouse so i can swipe up swipe down and it just makes things very easy for me so the next thing i have on this table that i got is this nice lamp so it's a 
okay so that's that's what it's like so it's a warm white light the one thing i don't like about this light is that you can't control the intensity of the light so it just stays as it is but one thing i also love about it is that it's adjustable so if i want to face it to my screen i just turn the head like this the whole neck can come all the way down to the bottom but it's shaped like a ring light so you can turn it depending on where you want it to face i actually got this because the logitech keyboard doesn't have backlight on it so most times when i'm working at night i need to see my keyboard so that's really the major reason why i got this and because sometimes i want to write down some things on my sticky notes and i can't see what i'm writing so most times at night i will just direct the head all the way down just so that i get that nice light on my keyboard and i can just see what i'm typing i also have my bottle of water here here i just have this very nice um succulent that i really love and i've had for such a long while that is all that i have on my table so the thing about this chair um that i absolutely love is that it's a swivel chair it's not very padded so i had to put this very big pillow to support my back i haven't found my dream work chair just yet however it's a bit difficult for me because I'm trying to find a chair that works with the fact that I work from my bedroom. I don't want to buy a chair that looks like it should be in a conference room or should be used during business meetings. So it's difficult finding a chair that's a cross between a proper like office chair and that would fit furniture in the bedroom, you know. So I need something that, of course, it's, it has a swivel property most likely has wheels if i might not have wheels but it should have like the swivel thing and it's very padded with good back support and good bump support and with armrests but still kind of looks like a sofa if that makes sense so on this end here i have a cable organizer where i hang all of my cables and it's so easy for me because if i want to charge my laptop all I need to do is just lift up the wire, stretch it, and then it comes all the way down here and it charges my laptop. If I want to charge my phone, I would just move my phone all the way down here and then plug it in and then leave it to charge. So it can charge standing or I can lie it down like this. So that's another reason why I really love this phone stand. I have my makeup stuff. I can also do my makeup on my table because my table is wide enough. On this side, I just have my drawer and this drawer has all of my makeup products. So this is where I'm able to just easily assess my makeup. So everything just kind of ties in so nicely and it's very, very convenient. So this table is like an all in all. So I have this board right here and what this board helps me do is I use it for major reminders because I have a sticky notes pad here and I write all of my to do's and my reminders. I also use my Google Calendar, so I have a lot of tools to help me with reminders and, like, you know, to keep the dates and appointments and all of that. But I use this for major, major um, reminders that I'm very, very certain I do not want to forget. So it's more like a backup reminder for me. I will just write boldly because once I sit here and I look at that board, I must see it. I don't need to squint. I don't need to strain my eyes. Once I look at that board, I see everything that I need to see. I also got that from an Instagram page. It was actually thrifted. I mean, if I do find a nicer one, I would get one because this one has a problem with cleaning. It's difficult to get the marker off, even though the markers are this erasable ones um, that are really nice quality but it's a bit difficult to get the marker off it. If I can find a really nice glass board, I'll definitely replace this with that. In this same area, I have this shelf, and this shelf just houses my makeup brushes, a couple of makeup stuff. I have my vanity mirror there um, that lights up. I have this nice sign that says breathe. And then I have this top shelf that has a couple of my favorite books, just a few of my favorite books that I like to reach out to once in a while. Um, I have this nice four plants. This frame up here has my name. It says Kinyere, and then it has the meaning of my name on that, which is God has given me to the world to bless it. I also have this nice African figurine, and I have the letter C that someone got for me. So this is what the wall looks like, and I love it. And this is my headboard, so I have a socket all the way down there. So I just ran an extension out there to the side of my table. It goes in a bit like that so it doesn't hide completely because it's not very long i wish it was longer but that is not even an issue 
so it takes all of the things that I want to plug so it has my MacBook charger my phone charger my lamp it has USB cords and then they go all the way up to the wire organizer that stays on the side of my table so thank you guys so much for watching my workspace um, tour video I hope you enjoyed it one thing I would say is start with whatever you have you're only able to grow when you start from somewhere. I hope you guys took some inspiration from this workspace store. Remember to check the description. I'm going to leave the links to the Instagram pages I got some of these things from Amazon. Um, what else? Yeah, AliExpress and Wish.com. I'm going to try and leave links in the description or maybe similar items. I don't know, depending on what I find. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already i will see you in my next one